Air radiators exist to satisfy our customers' needs on engine cooling. We operate with different speeds within our business. For our higher speed businesses, that the customers that require regular deliveries daily, uh, we offer a service which we call Just In Time. So they will send us every day an update about what they want and when they want it. And then we use our ERP system, our Pronto system, to take that data from our customer, run it through our MRP processes so that we can coordinate our factory to do daily deliveries in sequence to our customer's requirement. At Air Radiators, we strive to be world class. To be a manufacturer in Australia, you have to be world class, otherwise you won't make any money. With high labour costs, uh, that has a significant impact on our cost, and we have a high labour cost product. So we've been using lean methodologies for a long, long time at Air Radiators to take as much waste out of our system as possible. But Lean has got us so far, but we still needed to take out more waste out of our system. We're wasting, you know, pretty much, you know, I think it worked out to be 30 or 40 hours of just inefficiencies throughout the, um, you know, air radiators just on this one customer. So we were spending a lot of time on the administrative functions, uh, printing out multiple copies of papers and delivering to uh, different departments. So we had a good look at uh, where we could see more waste and one of those areas was the interface of the information coming from our customer down to the shop floor, through the shop floor and out onto the truck to get to the customer. So having identified that waste we thought well how do we attack that? You know, we had systems built up where we were taking information out of one system, typing it back into another system, we had paperwork going out on the shop floor to tell different areas of the factory what to make and when, so that it all come back together in our assembly operation. And with schedules changing every day and lead times, it gets very, very confusing very, very quickly. So in analysing that problem, we realised there had to be a better way. The manufacturing module for us at, um, at Air Radiators has, has been terrific um, in the sense that it's Basic foundations are, are, are terrific with the bills and materials um, and the work order process, um, but even better that we've been able to just do some enhancements there that make it uh, more usable for us. And it was um, decided on by the business really to leave the manual process, the old way of doing things, and move into a digital direction, which would require us to provide uh, shop on the shop floor touch screens, which would be um, enhance um, the user's experience by making it simpler um, because some of the interfaces in Prono um, were, were okay but time consuming in terms of taking people off the floor to do those transactions. So we were hoping to be able to um, speed that process up. Thinking about this solution, um, there was a time when I thought Cognos is a reporting tool. It can tell us what Pronto has in terms of data, which is great. But how do we then tell Pronto what we've done through Cognos? So there was some thoughts there about how we could um, do an interface between Cognos back to Pronto and so that the user could basically use a report and make it interactive. All our information went from being a day late or batched into a live process. So we could now see what was happening on the shop floor live. Now, you know, the interesting thing with this exercise is that's what Industry 4.0 is all about. Taking and digitising your information so make it available and live throughout your production cycle. So while the guys didn't set about doing an Industry 4.0 program, that's what we got in the end of the exercise. Prior to the implementation of, of the screens, um I don't think I want to remember how stressful it was. We're able to um, do more with our time. We're, in the past, we were running around to different departments um, trying to find out the status of jobs. Um, and, and now we can just sit at our desk and be on the phone with the customer and give them that real like, live information.
on yeah. where the, the status of their job is. So previously, I could be in my office. If I needed to know something, I would have to walk around, you know, areas to find out information. I can sit in the office and get all the information uh, from the screen. I can look at other departments, and so can our sales department, our engineering department, even our general manager. So it's all at a click of the screen, and it's at, the information is very easy to get to. People have shown a lot of interest um, in what we've done here as a potential for themselves to engage you know, in, in a similar solution. However, not having Pronto and Cognos, um, I'm not sure how far they'll get. Pronto is like the core business system and it's anything else, it has to revolve around the core, which is Pronto. And Cognos has been part of Pronto, has um, been a great tool for us to accomplish what we've done here with the digital solution for um, JRT manufacturing. Manufacturing is tough in Australia, there's no doubt about it. You know, if it was easy, the car companies and a whole lot of other multinational organisations would still be here. But it's not impossible. You just have to be world class. And so that striving to be world class is what's enabling us to stay here in Geelong, to be part of the community, to employ, uh, provide employment for uh, 130 people in our local area. And we're delivering products that are world class, that are going into world class products and being exported around the world. So uh, if you do everything right, uh, it's more than possible to be a viable manufacturer in Australia.